Hi, and welcome to Entrepreneur Confessions. I'm Anna Safranik, and today I'm here with Elizabeth Sapel at All City Candy, the sweetest town around. How are you doing today, Elizabeth? I'm sweet, Anna. That is great to hear. So, how do you get the word out about your business when you are a startup or a newer company? How did you do it? Wow, the dreaded marketing word, huh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so, marketing is, marketing changes so fast, right? Uh, it's not like old day where you can put uh, an ad in the local paper and people actually read the paper and <laughs> said, oh, a new business, a candy store, let's go check out the candy store, that'll be fun. <laughs> I haven't opened a paper in years. <clears throat> um, so how do you get the word out? It's not easy. Mm -hmm. One, I think our best uh, form of marketing and the cheapest form of marketing is treating our customers well and having them spread the spread the word. Word of right? mouth. Mm -hmm. Gotta go to All City Candy, they're so nice. Oh my God, what a sweet business. So that's been um, great, word of mouth. We've got a, a really nice, solid customer base fans, however you want to call them, they're awesome. Um, but that does start with treating your customers right. And the next part is then how do you get the word out? Marketing's like throwing money into the wind and praying some of it comes back to you, right? Um, it's a great metaphor. Yeah, you just don't know. We've tried it all. We've tried print, we've tried radio, we've tried commercials. Um, so commercial, we did really great on commercials the first time and the second time it was like, I don't know where it went. It did not work. So I, things change, right? When I'm watching TV, I don't watch the commercials, right? I just speed through all that stuff mm -hmm. now. So I'm not sure exactly what is going to work for your business. Um, try it all and um, make sure you like you know, document the results yeah, of what you get. Follow it, see, what, and then be be ready to pivot again. We've done radio, it worked, and then it didn't work. So um, marketing is a crapshoot. Right now with uh, online, we've been doing more paid ads for SEO and, and clicks. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, right? It's been, it's been crazy. We're still trying to muddle through that, just like the whole world, because you think you got it, and then Google ch Google changes their um, algorithm, mm -hmm. and then you got it. You start right back from the beginning. So I would say treat your customers well and get a nice customer fan base uh, so that you can directly market to them. Uh, do a loyalty program, anything where you can gather names of people that already love you, and then set aside a portion of your revenue to. Um, put to marketing because it costs money. It costs money to make money, and I hate that analogy, but it's true, right? Mm -hmm. um, you got to try everything in your power and and pray you find the one thing that works for you. And gosh, I'm now a marketing genius. Thank goodness I've got staff that are that make me look good, right? All, <laughs> all the social media and stuff. Oh my God, you're so good at that. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly I have to have my kids say, hey, how, what do I click to get to this? <laughs> so, um, again, that goes back to surrounding yourself with good people that are smarter than you that can help you take your business to the next level. So getting the word out about your business, it takes money. So you need money to market. And as Elizabeth said, it's like throwing money into the wind and hoping some comes back to you. So figuring out what works for your business, you're gonna have to do a lot of trial and error and make sure that you keep track of what you're doing to see what works and what doesn't. That way, more money comes back to you than doesn't. So thanks for joining us today on Entrepreneur, Entrepreneur Confessions. Have a great day.